once again to Brotherhood of the Bat Collectibles, your one-stop shop for all things high-end collectibles reviews, unboxing, statue chats, and much, much more. My name is Chris the Batman Statue Collector. Thank you for joining me today. And today we have an amazing guest review for a piece that I never thought we would really feature here on this channel. This is a very risque piece for sure. This is Deja Thoris. Now this is a almost nude statue, which is pretty incredible, but I think that Sideshow Collectibles has done just a phenomenal job. Now the way for her was long. I think it was like almost two years for her to be in hand. I know a lot of collectors are very excited to finally be getting her in hand, and I want to give a major shout out to, to collector Jeff Rohde. Now, Jeff uh, filmed for us this amazing review, and I cannot wait to share it. He did want me to share my thoughts. He did not want to speak on camera. So again, Jeff, thank you so very much for providing this with us. His footage is amazing. So without further ado, let's check out the review. All right, guys, here we go, and we're going to start off with the box art, which I think is really cool. Of course, you have the statue on the front. Now, if you know anything about this particular character, we know that she is from Mars, and she is a princess, and this is kind of like her palace, which is really cool. You have the curtains on the sides. You have the curtain. Basically, this is kind of like what she's looking out at uh, on the surface of Mars, so she is from the planet Mars, which is really cool, and then, of course, you again have the curtains and then the absolutely gorgeous statue here on the front. This is a very, very cool uh, box. I think Sideshow has been doing a phenomenal job with some of their recent releases with Deja Thoris here, also uh, Silver Surfer, uh, Superman, and some others. But this is really cool. So anyway, let's go ahead and dive in deep here with this amazing statue. Now, again, this is a beautiful, beautiful sculpted piece. Now, this is sculpted by Will Harbottle. Everybody absolutely loves him. He's phenomenal. And this base is really cool. And now you have all of these amazing intricate little symbols and details there on the bottom. You also notice um, these colored stones. And these do denote the various cities of the world, which is really cool. So you have all those little elements there. Some people might have actually missed those. But those are really nice as well. Um, then, of course, you have the detail here uh, from the actual like pavement, the surface. And then also as you get into the chair, look at the detail here on the chair. It is absolutely uh, out of this world, so to speak. It is really, really well done. You notice purples, you notice grays, you notice deep texturing in that side, which is really cool. You also notice this vase right here, uh, or a vase, however you want to say it. But this is a Martian vase, and it can be removed. It is a proximity piece. This is not an exclusive. This is just, uh, you know, as it comes. But if you can, you can put it here or behind her or in the front, however you want to pose that, you can. And you can move that just however you want. Look at the texturing here on the pillows. Look at the silks. Really, really beautiful in my opinion. I really like what they've done here. Um, it has kind of a shadow effect. You know, it just looks smooth and silky. I just think that that is really well painted. And I love these pillows. Um, I love the, it's kind of like a quilted pillow. Uh, you notice how you have those indentions inside of it. It is just really cool. It's lumpy in parts and not in others. But again, the way that the silk is hanging off that chair, it just is beautifully sculpted. Again, Harbottle here, absolutely incredible with what he's able to accomplish here. And I know that there is an entire sideshow team working on the design, the paint, the sculpt. Um, and I just want to tip my hat to Sideshow because this is another beautiful premium format from them. I feel like they have been on an absolute roll, like I've said, with the art box. But more specifically with these statues, I think they've been really, really beautiful. Notice the tassels hanging down. Um, just the various colors of pillows and the round pillow there that's kind of that leathery type round pillow. It Doesn't that look real, guys? It looks very, very real to me. Uh, I'm very, very impressed. And again, the colors, you have shades of gray, dark blue, purples here. You have a little light red, some pinks. Very, very cool, which again denotes that whole princess vibe on this throne, if you will. This is basically a throne piece, which is really cool. Um, you also have a map here. This is a map um, of the alien world, Barsoom, I think is how you say that. I'm not 100% sure whether it's Barsoom or Barsam, but basically we call it Mars here on Earth. That's how we refer to it. But basically, again, she is a red Martian royalty. She is a princess. And again, this is just so cool to be able to see all of these amazing details here that we're seeing. Um, this piece, uh, before I forget, uh, this does retail for $550 uh, USD. I will put a link down in the description below if you're interested in ordering her. Uh, that does help support the channel. So I just wanted to give you guys a heads up on that. 
Uh, she is 14 inches tall and this particular hole piece is 16 inches wide. Look at the skin here. Look at the skin texture. Look at these gold elements. Now these gold elements that we're seeing are um, very represent representative, if you will, of, of the royalty. Uh, that is what they wear. And she is not wearing much, uh, that is for sure. Um, but again, just really beautiful. She has this weapon in her hand, which is nice. Look at the, the feet. You see the wrinkles there? Uh, just really well sculpted here. Uh, Will knows how to sculpt females. And this clearly shows off some of his best work here. I love the details on the feet. Uh, again, you can see the veins. You can see those wrinkles. Like, you know how you bend your foot? You see all those wrinkles right there on the side, the toes. It just looks phenomenal. Look at the muscle definition in her in her thigh and her calf. Uh, her knee even looks, you can see the bones. It's just absolutely fantastic. And then, of course, uh, this is no longer a PG. Yeah, it's a more PG-13 hair for you folks. Um, but um, look, at this, look at this body. It is just sexy as hell. Uh, just beautiful, beautiful piece. Um, again, all of that gold uh, jewelry. Uh, on her body it looks absolutely fantastic. Uh, does not leave much to the imagination, that's for sure. Um, and then we get to the portrait. Uh, absolutely beautiful portrait. Um, there was some question uh, right off the bat whenever people started getting her in hand if she looked different in the face, whether some people thought she looked older or younger. I'm going to leave that up to you. But there is no question that the, the face sculpt is very, very beautiful. She looks very stern. She looks like she is not going to put up with much. Uh, I love the way her fingers are posed. I think that is incredible. I just love the look of that. Again, you have all of that jewelry um, going up and down her body, up into her neck choker. Uh, you notice her jewelry on her ears. You notice her crown up above. It is just all so beautifully painted here. And I know talking with Jeff, like it is, you know, very crisp and clean. He didn't have any issues on his and you can really see it here in the footage. Um, just absolutely beautiful footage here from him. And again, thank you so much for filming for us. Um, just a really, really beautiful piece. So I kind of want to recap again. 550, sculpted by Will Harbottle, 14 inches tall, 16 wide. Um, just just a beautiful, sexy piece. Uh, strong female here. Uh, and again, if you are a fan of this character, and this character has been around for a hundred years, which is pretty crazy. Um, it's so cool to have her represent represented here in this way, because again, she is just absolutely gorgeous, stunning. And I just cannot think of a better version of this that will ever be made. I think this is absolutely beautiful. And again, I tip my hat to everyone at Sideshow that was involved in this piece. It is just absolutely beautiful. <laughs> I think it's well sculpted. I think it's well painted. The art direction on it is very, very awesome. Uh, sexy again. Whew, look at that. It is just, uh, I'm in love here, guys. I'm going to be honest. <laughs> it's a really beautiful statue. Uh, I cannot pull this one off in my house. I don't have anywhere to put her. Um, I'm not exactly sure if my wife would love this one, but uh, it is a beautiful statue without question. She is beautiful. And I absolutely love this statue. I think it's awesome. Sideshow did fantastic. Really, really cool. Uh, I do want to give you a real quick 360 spin on her so you guys can see her a little bit better. And then we'll wrap things up. So there you have it, an absolutely beautiful, stunning, gorgeous piece from our friends over at Sideshow Collectibles. And again, I want to give a major shout out and thanks to collector Jeff Rohde for providing this footage for us. Absolutely. And congratulations on an absolutely beautiful piece. 
I just think she is absolutely gorgeous. Now, could I get away with maybe having that in my house? I don't know. It's a little, like I said, it's a little risque for sure, but there is no question that this is an absolutely beautiful sculpt. It's an absolutely gorgeous, gorgeous head sculpt. And if, you know, Will Harbottle, I mean, what else is to say? Absolutely incredible sculptor from Sideshow. But I want to know your thoughts. What do you guys think about this piece? Uh, is it one that you've ordered? Is it one that you're thinking about ordering? Could you get away with having it in your collection? Uh, I would like to know your thoughts and opinions down in the description down below. Thank you guys so very much for checking out this video today. Uh, you watching these, it just, again, it means the absolute world to me. So thank you for taking the time out of your day to watch and care about what we have to think about with these statues. So again, thank you guys so very much. Uh, if you are new here, please hit that subscribe button, hit that like button, click that notification bell. Consider hitting the join button down below for early access to uh, our videos. And just thank you guys again so very much for watching. Please like, comment, and subscribe. And as always, I'll see you in the Batcave. Bye, everybody. Hey guys, thank you so very much for watching today. And if you're new here, please hit the subscribe button right here on the screen and check out these two awesome videos. I think you're going to love them. And also please join us on social media, Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and TikTok. I would love to have you join in all the fun. Thank you guys so very much for watching. See you in the Batcave.